Now let's take a look at a common mistake people make in the state machine. Here I have two timelines. In timeline 1, the button is set to 100% scale and its colour is set to black. In timeline 2, the button is set to 110% scale and its colour is set to blue. If I open my state machine, you can see that I've put them on the state machine stage and set up two transitions. The conditions of the transitions are simply if the boolean is true, then go in this direction. If the boolean is false, then go in this direction. And I'm using two listeners to activate that boolean depending on whether or not my pointer enters or exits the button. So let's press play on the state machine and see what happens. As you can see, the button is 100% scale and its colour is black. If my pointer enters, it scales up and changes to blue. However, if my pointer exits, nothing. If you look down at my state machine, you'll see that we are transitioning correctly when I hover and unhover. However, nothing is happening on the artboard. So what's going on? Well, let's take a look inside the timelines to see. Timeline 1 has no keyframes. Let's keep this in mind going forward. Timeline 2 has keyframes set for the scale and the colour of the button. So when I press play on my state machine, because timeline 1 has no keyframes, what we see on the artboard is just our design unchanged. And when we transition to timeline 2, the keyframes within timeline 2 change the button's colour and size. So when we transition back to timeline 1 again, there's no keyframes. So we stay the same colour and size as was set by the keyframes in timeline 2. If you want something to change in Rive, you have to be explicit. What this means is you need to set keyframes on any property that you want to change. In this case, I want to animate the scale and colour of the button. So I'm going to go into timeline 2 to check the exact properties that I want to animate, and then go into timeline 1 and animate those same properties. The scale of the button group, and the colour of the rectangle. Shortcut U to show all keyframed properties. And now if I flick between timeline 1 and timeline 2, you'll see that we are animating the same exact properties. So now when I press play on the state machine, and hover over the button, and then unhover, the keyframes in timeline 1 are activated. If this has happened to you, do not worry. This is a very common mistake. So if something isn't acting right in your Rive file, just check the timelines. It could be that you haven't set keyframes for the property that you're trying to change.